Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Zena Asfur, and I am fascinated by Latin American culture. And I'm constantly trying to find the connection between Latin American, the, the Latin American world and the Arab world. And I knew that there is a large Arab diaspora down south, but it was much recently that I discovered Club Deportivo Palestino in Chile. It comes as no surprise that I would be intrigued by this team. And therefore, I began my research into this club that bore in the name of my country, Palestine, which is geographically thousands of miles away. The article that I am forwarding today is called Resistance in Representation, the Diasporic Politics of Club Deportivo Palestino by Siri Schwabe, a professor of social anthropology. In the article, the author mentions that Football and politics were very much aligned in Chile during the 20th century, serving as intermediaries between local governments and citizens, and as arenas for detentions and torture of political prisoners under uh, General Augusto Pinochet. However, in the era of post-dictatorship, most sports clubs and associations stayed away from politics. In this respect, Palestino is an exception. It is overtly political and committed to the Palestinian cause. Uh, the author argues that Palestino is a symbol of diasporic Palestinian identity and resistance, or smooth. In order to understand this, I will begin my presentation by briefly, briefly discussing the history of Palestinians in Chile. I will then move on to the concept of sumud and how it relates to Palestinian Chileans and Palestino, as well as how this has led to some controversies. So Club Deportivo Palestino is a national first division professional football team in Chile. And for consistency, I will continue to refer to the sport as football and not soccer, as we call it here in the States. In 1920, the Club Deportivo Palestino was officially established and it joined the National Football League of Chile in 1952. Although it was established by Palestinian immigrants, most of the players today are not of Palestinian or Arab descent. Palestino, as it is commonly known, or Tino Tino, is unique for its reference to a foreign country. This is like having an NFL team named the Lebanon Cedars or an NBA team called the Chinese Pandas. And please forgive me for my creativity. Um, its motto, Más que un equipo todo un pueblo, more than a team, all one people, points to the club's roots as a uniting entity for Palestinians in diaspora. The stadium has been home to Palestino since 1988, um, and it's called La Cisterna. And it also emphasizes the connection with, Palest with Palestine through murals of Palestinian images and photographs that communicate Orgullo Palestino, translating to both, pal both Palestinian pride and Palestino pride. So you can see here, <clears throat> these are images of La Cisterna. And you notice right away that the club and the fans associate Palestino with Palestine and have adopted the Palestinian flag as the club's flag. The following pictures are of the stadium's building. In the top right photo, you will notice the play of Orgullo Palestino to mean both pride and being Palestinian. And here it's represented by Mohammed Asaf um, and being a member of the club. The one on the bottom left is of a mural with images of Palestinian symbols of resistance and peace. So you have the dove, the flag, the olive branch, and the breaking of the West Bank wall. Um, and then the slogan, Palestina Libre, which is free Palestine. All right, so there's a famous saying in um, Chile that says, in every village in Chile, there's a priest, there's a policeman, and a Palestinian. The Palestinian community in Chile is the largest diaspora community outside of the Middle East. So last I checked, there are roughly about the same number of Palestinians in Chile as there are in Saudi Arabia. Migration to Chile began in the early 20th century as the fall of the Ottoman Empire led many to flee to the West for better opportunities. Most were Christians who either hail from the towns of Bejala, Bej Sahur, and Bethlehem. Palestinians who arrived in Chile integrated into the fabric of Chilean society. They started schools, banks, newsletters, and clubs, one of which was Club Deportivo Palestino. So this brings me to the main argument of this article, which is that Palestino is a symbol of Palestinian smooth and what makes Palestino such a unique club. The author describes Sumud as the ongoing quest for presence that is characteristic of the prolonged Palestinian struggle. So 
if we are to understand this concept as making sure the Palestinian name and identity never dies, then the name of the club makes sense. The name Palestino was chosen by immigrants to ensure an enduring Palestinian moniker in their new Chilean context. Palestinian Chileans understand that Palestino as a Chilean institution and a team is connected, connected to the notion of Sumud by default. Palestinian Chileans very much align themselves with the Palestinian struggle. Unlike the resistance of Palestinians in Palestine, which relies on imminent danger and live day-to-day -day oppression, their resistance is deliberate and overt. To them, Sumud is invoked through practices of presence, of remaining Palestinian away from Palestine. And this could simply mean eating Palestinian food, playing Arab music, or even talking about Palestine with friends. This allows them to be a part of the overall Palestinian struggle, even though from afar. And if we are to understand La Cisterna, which is the stadium, as Palestinian soil, Palestino, the club, then serves to promote the Palestinian cause and act as a unifier and national narrative of the Palestinian people. Palestino and its notion of Sumud did not go unnoticed by Palestinians in Palestine. In 2015, Mahmoud Abbas sent Palestino a letter congratulating them for qualifying for the Copa Libertadores, calling it the second national team for the Palestinian people. Three years later, he paid an official visit to La Cisterna. Chilean reporters also visited Palestine in 2015 to interview Palestino fans living in Palestine and Jordan, who felt themselves represented at the international level. In 2014, the club attracted a lot of national and international attention, mostly by the Jewish community in Chile, when it displayed the map of Palestine on its jerseys. An official complaint was brought before the Chilean Football Federation, and Palestino argued that the map was of the country of the immigrants that established the club in 1920. The Federation ordered the removal of the map for technicality reasons, stating that all jerseys should feature a 25 centimeter tall numeral. So instead, Palestino placed the map on the sleeve of its jerseys. So as you can see right over here. Club Deportivo Palestino just celebrated its centennial anniversary in September, it's a hundred years. It's quite awesome to see how such an overtly political club has survived the test of time and controversy. The link between politics and football has become even more pronounced over the years and remains strong, while resistance, specifically Palestinian resistance, may be a burden or even forbidden elsewhere. It is celebrated in Santiago. Sumold is still an ongoing mode of practice and fans continue to maintain their presence of the Palestinian struggle in their daily lives. Thank you.